Hello everyone, it's Book Review Monday. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone had a really nice weekend. I am back with a new uh, book review. This one is called uh, Dr. Playboy by Jay Salmon. Jay Salmon, uh, as mentioned in one of my uh, favorite authors list, has become my favorite, uh, one of my favorite authors, like very rapidly. <laughs> um, her books just thrill me. They have um, so many twists, so many turns. Um, there's just something about her books that are just like, ah, like magic. So before I get started, I do want to thank uh, Grace Promotions and Jay Salmon for providing an ARC of uh, Dr. Playboy. I really do appreciate it. And I also want to let everyone know that there are spoilers. So um, I hope that you have read this book before you have watch this video. So let's go ahead and uh, read the blurb and then we will recap, review, and then read the book overall. He was older, impossibly gorgeous, and had no clue I existed. Luca Fritz was the worst sort of playboy, constantly falling in and out of love with every woman he met. I used to spend hours of my life staring at the huge Fritz mansion from the window of the staff house dreaming of him. By 18, I had all but given up my fantasy, set to go off to the conservatory in London to follow my dream when fate stepped in with other ideas. That summer I was young, innocent, and forbidden to him. I knew when we succumbed to the explosive passion between us that he would inevitably ruin me. I wasn't wrong. Four years later, fate decides to step in again. I'm offered my dream job at, as a first chair cellist uh, for the Boston Symphony Orchestra. Only I know what comes with it. Luca Fritz. On opening night, he comes barreling back into my life. Desperate for a shot at his second chance. A second chance I had no intention of giving. Now a brilliant neurosurgeon. He thinks he knows exactly the right way to crawl back not only into my bed, but into my heart. I don't care how persistent, unexpected, or clever he is. I am not that lovesick teenage girl anymore. It'll take a lot, a hell of a lot more than panty melting smiles and heart stopping encounters to win me back over. This cocky playboy is about to learn that all's fair in love and war, and this is the latter. Okay, so I've been getting emails from Jay Salmon uh, lately. Uh, and she's been, and she was sending uh, the first several chapters of this book uh, to me and to all of her readers, and I have loved every chapter so far. <laughs> so again, warning: the rest of the video contains uh, spoilers for Doctor Playboy. Um, viewer discretion is advised if you have not read this book. I do that in my warning voice, but I mean I could, but I, I, I don't want to. So Raven knows who Luca is when she sees him uh, after four years. Um, Luca has been restless and he heard music one night because um, he, he did suffer an injury. Um, he follows the sound of a cello playing and he's so mesmerized by Raven. Um, they openly flirt with each other, and Luca, Luca had saved Raven from drowning in the pool uh, when she was way younger. So I want to point out that this is actually an age gap romance. Uh, Raven is 18, Luca is 28. I, you know, I always try to figure out how old everyone is. I, I don't know why I do that. Like I really, really don't. An age gap romance has never bothered me. <laughs> They never do. They never bother me. These two have a beautiful relationship to start off with. 
Um, then Luca ends it because Raven wants to give up her, uh, give, give up on her dream for him. He doesn't want her to grow to resent him for that. Um, so he decides to stage a friend of his brother uh, coming into a bar and um, openly flirt with Luca right in front of Raven. Well, it works, and she hates him for that. So four more years go by, and now we're in present day. Raven is an accomplished cellist and um, had been playing in the UK. She receives flowers at every performance. Um, she knows they are all from Luca. It, it, they're always from Luca. He's been... He's been keeping track of Raven and shows he is proud of her. Raven gets furious with him every time. And she is, because she's angry and she's hurt by him. He spends majority of the book um, trying to win her back. Uh, they do have their moments when the lust gets a little too overwhelming uh, for them, and especially Raven and she caves in that alley scene. We do learn Octavia, who is Luca's mother, um, is getting worse. She's ill and she's just, she's just getting worse. Raven is close with her. Raven had lost her mom uh, when she was young and uh, she, her mom went on a mission and, uh, and she had died during this mission. She grew, and Raven had grown, grown closer to uh, Octavia. So Octavia was basically a mother figure to Raven, and um, which is, which is a nice little relationship for her because it's obvious that she needed that motherly figure, and it's really nice for Oct and Octavia gladly filled that uh, position for Raven. Octavia, along with all the other Abbot, uh, Abbot Fritz uh, clan, had fully supported uh, Luca and Raven while they were together, and they want them to just get back together. It did take work for Luca to win Raven back, but if you really think about it, he already won her back. Like, she had been hurt and, and is scared to have her heart broken again, but it comes down to, do they love each other enough to try again? Well, yes. Then comes, a uh, then comes a situation that is a callback to the beginning of the book. Um, and they are left with the decision that will affect their relationship once again. I will not say what that is, um, and, what the outcome of that, uh, and what the outcome of that decision was either. So I'm so sorry, you just will not get it from me. If you have read the book, you already know. If you haven't read the book, well, go read it. <laughs> I will say this book did surprise me a little. Um, it was a pleasant read and there wasn't any twist or horrible situation that was thrown to the couple. Um, Jay Salman uh, usually has um, plot twists in the middle of the book or just like a big reveal uh or 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 an ant or like a a really like interesting answer to this upending question um this was more of a i will prove to you i'm worthy of your love type of book and it he proved he proved that i did give this book five stars. <laughs> I did. Um, so once again, I do want to thank uh, Grace Promotions at Jay Selma uh, for providing an ARC of Dr. Playboy. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate you all uh, coming by my channel and watching this review for this book. I hope that you do happen to uh, read it as well. It's really good. Because, um, come on, it's a five star rating book. So anyways, um, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. 
and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. A hell of a lot more than panty, uh, panty, mel uh, mel uh, sorry.